Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. My name is Danger Kitty, and uh, you're watching my playthrough of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Currently, uh, I'm about to talk to the Countess of Bruma. Because on the last episode, we, well, you know what? We'll, we'll talk about it after we just, it's a pleasure to after see we talk to her. Greetings. What news from Cloud Ruler Temple? News you're not going to like. A desperate plan indeed. This prince? Emperor? Martin would risk my whole city to gain a great sigil stone? Yeah, but we need to recover the amulet, bitch. This is the only way to stop this invasion from the Yes. I must confess, you are the first person to speak of victory against these Daedra. This war seemed hopeless to me. But what else was there to do but hold on and wait for a hero to arise to save us? Yeah, well. And now it seems there is an heir to the throne after all, hidden at Cloud Ruler Temple. And perhaps a hero as well? Hell yeah, bitch. You avoid answering my question. Very well. Don't think I doubt you. The rulers of Bruma have long had dealings with Cloud Ruler Temple. We know whom they Good. serve. I will meet Martin at the chapel. When all is ready, I will order my men to stop closing the gates and prepare all for right. battle. So, in the last episode, basically, uh, what had happened was uh, we got the we got this great Welkid stone to Martin, and then he told us the second to last or the last thing that we needed in order to. Uh, summon our own gate to Oblivion, uh, essentially, or to Mankar Cameron's realm, uh, was a great sigil stone. Which, uh, if you've seen the series at all up to this point, you'll know that sigil stones are what you get at the top of the, uh, at the top of the towers within the Oblivion gates. And so you can see, here's all our great work coming to fruition. we got soldiers. Soldiers everywhere. Um, it is a privilege. But anyway, so um, we we had to talk to the Countess of Bruma to tell her that basically the only way to get a great sigil stone is to allow a great Oblivion Gate to open. Which basically up to this point is what we have been fighting against this whole time outside of Bruma. Because we learned that that's what the, uh, the dangerous plan of attack was. And so here we are, trying to convince the Countess of Bruma that letting the great gate open is what needs to be done. And now you should be more or less caught up. Hi. Happy black man back here. Your Highness. I am Narina Carvain, Countess of Bruma, at your service. There is no need for any formality at this time. I am not Emperor yet, and I am quite new to this notion of being heir to the throne. Thank you for coming. I know I am asking for a great deal of trust, but this is the only way. I would not suggest it otherwise. Your champion has already explained the situation to me. I have agreed to it. We will not win this war through caution. You have a rare gift to know when desperation is the path of wisdom. I will do everything in my power to defend your city, my lady. If Bruma falls, the Empire falls with us. So be it. Oh, I guess talk to her. All right. I'm ready for battle when you are, champion. What say you? Bring it, motherfucker! So be it. Bruma's fate is in the hands of the gods now. And Always yours. mine. In the back over here, we got Captain Bird. Bird, deploy the troops for battle. Deploy the troops for battle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Martin! 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 Man, look at all these guys. Fucking cool dudes. 
I feel like I should wait just to see what happens. Uh, no, you know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's go find Martin and we'll follow him out in case there's any awesome cutscenes and dialogue and shit that I missed. Because I promised you when I played the game through the first time, I didn't stick around. Probably should have. Man, your helmet is cool. Everybody out. Guys, just like, wow. You fucktards aren't going to salute or nothing? Oh, and now we're in a sprint. All right. Cool. Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and warn you. This episode is... There's a very good chance this episode is going to go long. Uh, based entirely on the fact that it's been 10 minutes. There's been nothing but cutscenes. This gate does not look any more drastic than the other ones, I'm going to be honest. I arrived at the battlefield to find one open oblivion gate. Once all three are open, the mythic dawn will open the, a great gate, which I must enter and retrieve the, its great sigil stone. Okay, well that makes sense. So basically, just hang tight until the other gates are open. Martin and I have arrived at the battlefield. I must protect Martin until the great gate opens. Fine. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, the Empire will stand or fall by what we do here today. Will we let the Daedra do to Bruma what they did to Kavach? This is, I just want to pause it real quick because I don't want to miss the speech. But if you've watched the rest, the, like every part of the series leading up to now, think about the amount of effort that we had to go through to close all these gates to get some soldiers here. Now look up and down this line and tell me that this is the number of soldiers we should have in order to fight this 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 great gate. Will we let them burn our homes? We will let them kill our families. No, we make our stand here today for the whole of All 15 of us. We must hold fast until the hero of Kabach can destroy their great gate. We must kill whatever comes out of that gate. Soldiers of Cyrodiil, do you stand with me? Bring it, motherfuckers! Look out. Sweet arrows. Come on, bastards. Bring it. Get shit on. I can't tell but notice, Martin, that you've been struck by an arrow. This is most unfortunate and not ideal, as I need to keep you alive. I didn't realize, like, I am getting kind of, sort of fucked up over here. Only kind of fucked up. Not really fucked up, but... Oh, the Great Gate is opened! I must enter it at once. Get the Great Sigil Stone before the Bruma Defenders are overwhelmed. Holy shit, that's a serious gate. I don't... Oh, man. Nope, nope. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run. You guys are on your own. I can't help you now. You know, actually, this is gonna be the... Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and use a fucking potion. I'll have to pick some more up when I get inside. I have a feeling I'm going to regret not, uh... Big potion of sorcery. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. I've entered the Great Gate. The Daedric Siege engine is crawling towards the portal. If it exits the gate before I reach the Sigil Stone, all is lost. So I'm kind of on a time limit here. Uh, not excited about that fact. I guess we'll get on here. Ow! 
Restoration skill increased. That's good. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know which way to go. Plane of Oblivion. 13 minutes to close the gate. Ah, fucking balls. Holy shit, that was a fireball that almost missed me. Or almost hit me, but it missed. Thank God. Alright, so I need to- is that up or down? I can't tell. Why can't I tell? I'm presuming I need to go down, right? The color is getting more full. Yeah. Right? Fuck. How do I get over there? 12 minutes to close the gate! Oh man, I am the best. Fucking get out of here. This isn't Jurassic Park. Oh man, this I am having a legitimately hard time with this. I'm going to be perfectly honest at the moment. I am actually kind of scared that I won't that I won't that this won't work. That I won't be able to do it. Why are you walking so slowly? Fucking bust a move, retard. Oh my god. Is this seriously not the direction I need to go? Oh my god, I am... Oh. Where's the switch? Where's the fucking switch? I am seriously worried right now. Dude, fucking block some stuff! Fucking balls. Sprint, dude. Oh my god. I am so nervous right now. I I can't even begin to express. Holy shit! Fucking potion of swiftness over here. This guy. Fucking sigil key. I'm looting every goddamn corpse I can. Ow. Holy shit! Fucking days and weeks of constant wear make uh do not comfortable. You have learned to adapt the weight and use combat as apprentice to have remember your plate mail will no longer be damaged. There's no longer damage to swiftly combat. Great. Where am I going? Yes. I don't have enough magicka. All right. Okay. 
Oh my god, my, I have no armor. Alright, guess that's what I'm doing. I'm not seeing the countdowns anymore, which is both... Dude, you fucking move so fast! Uh, I like, on one hand, I'm kinda glad. And on the other, I am absolutely terrified. Just the door over here. I'm gonna take every fucking sigil key I can get my hands on. I only need one, but I'm gonna keep picking them up. Eight minutes. There's the sigil stone. I made it. <sighs> for all the psyching out that I gave, for psyching out myself, that went okay. Like eight minutes to spare, thank God. Oh, fuck. For whatever reason, like, despite that being timed, that's the easiest gate I think I've been through so far. Oh, shit. I reached the Great Sigil Stone and closed the gate. The Battle of Bruma is won. Now to give the Sigil Stone to Martin. I am stuck under a thing. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Oh, fucking Christ. Where's your helmet, bro? We won a great victory here today. We now have the means to recover the Amulet of Kings from Manka Cameron. But we need to act quickly. Cameron will not take long to recognize his danger. Okay. Remember, the portal closes behind you. Anything you need, carry it with you. Great. I'll have the ritual ready in the Great Hall when you arrive. Farewell. All right. Farewell, my friend. I'm going to loot the fuck out of everything while I'm here. Pick up as many arrows as I can. That seriously stressed me out, man. Ugh. Like, it went so much better than I had expected. But still, holy shit. Good lord. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, thank you for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Be sure to like, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>